I'm Kristen Live. If you haven't been here before, I do um, daily and weekly vlogs, um, family, kids, healthy meals, all kinds of good stuff. So um, if you enjoy this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and um, that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my future videos. So let's just go ahead and get started. Everyone's been asking me what kind of equipment I use to make YouTube videos, so here we go. The camera that I'm filming with right now is my Nikon 34D100. It is a DSLR and I absolutely love it. I want to show you guys in the beginning of this video what it looks like in natural light and then I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn on my ring light that I have set up that I just got and I absolutely love and show you the difference in lighting. I really love it. I've seen a vast difference in the uh, quality of lighting in my videos in the past week or so. The other camera I use when I do my vlogging is my Sony A5000. It has the flip screen so you can see yourself and make sure you're in the shot for the video. And um, I got this used like two years ago. I think it was like less than $200. They've made several models since then. so. You can probably get one for a pretty good deal. It takes good photos. The only downfall to both of my cameras that I've noticed is neither of them have an audio input. So that's a bummer because I have a um, Snowball Ice um, speaker or um, microphone. And um, I used to use it with my iPad Mini, which is how I started making videos. However, I got the input jack stuck in my iPad mini, which I have a video on. It's kind of funny now. It wasn't funny then. I was really disappointed, but I'll link a video up here for you if you want to see it. Um, <clears throat> so right now, the video is being picked up by my Nikon camera. The other thing is um, my bag that I got last year for Christmas. It's my camera bag. It was great for traveling when we went to Costa Rica. There's also a video that I have on that. If you want to see our trip to Costa Rica, I will link it here or here. Um, but anyway, this is the bag I got. It's pretty cool because it's got tons of different compartments. So the main compartment is down here and you just open it up like so. And it's got all this different space and all these different places to put parts and pieces. And it's got these removable, like cushy Velcro, pads and you can kind of rearrange them to however your camera fits in there best and that way it keeps your um, display from getting scratched. It's got uh, this handy dandy pocket which is where I keep my USB, uh, external hard drive and extra SD cards and then it's got this pocket where I keep my cleaning supplies for the camera so I've got um, this handy little brush and it's got a fingerprint little marker on the other end. I've got my lavalier mic, which currently I can't use, and uh, just some microfiber cleaning cloths and whatnot. It also has this side pocket, which I use to keep my extra batteries and battery chargers. I like to keep at least one or two extra fully charged batteries with me and at least one extra SD card in case it runs out during filming. So, the only other thing that um, I'm using right now is the Amazon Basics tripod, and I will turn the camera around in a minute and show you guys. I think it was like less than $20. It's been great for me. But the cool thing about the ring light that I got is um, it's an 18-inch LED ring light, and it came with some filters, a white filter and an orange filter. I've got the white filter on right now. It seems to be my favorite so far. But the ring light has an attachment that actually allows you to attach your camera or your phone directly to it if you prefer and I haven't done that yet but if that floats your boat you can do that and the only other thing that I can think of that's pretty important is uh, in Florida it's very sunny and this little number kind of clips on over your lens and protects it from the harsh sunlight so that's pretty cool um, these are a couple of my different lens covers. I've got this one that's kind of a purple iridescent. 
This is a 55 milliliter, uh, milliliter, millimeter Polaroid fluorescent. <clears throat> and then this one is the Polaroid uh, UV protection. The other one I have in here is for uh, a 67 mil millimeter, can't talk today, uh, which I don't have, so this is just kind of an extra one that I carry around. <clears throat> The two new things that I got last night that just got delivered, which I'm pretty excited about, is this dash mount cam um, holder. And it either goes on your windshield or on your dash. I found out today, for some reason, it didn't stick very well to my window. It was just kind of in an odd direction. So I could stick it there, but it just couldn't, I didn't quite get the right angle to be able to film while I'm in the car. So I went ahead and put the little sticky that came with it that goes right on your dash. And then this just clamps on like so, and it's there. The other cool thing about this, once I can get it off, that's how good it sticks, <clears throat> is that, oh, where'd my little thing go? Well, <clears throat> my little knob fell off in my bag, I'll have to grab it, but this actually moves 180 degrees. So no matter how you have it in your car, you can move it to whatever angle you want. And the other new thing I got yesterday is this Bluetooth selfie stick, which is awesome because it goes pretty far out. I'll show you. So it's really stable, and um, I will shoot some video using it and include it in here for you guys so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Uh, it also comes with a remote, which I need to charge, and a handy little spot for it here. And it's got a spot for you to start your video or take a photo. And then these little buttons, I'm not sure yet. I don't know if they're for volume or if they're for zooming in and zooming out. I'm assuming they're for zooming, but we'll have to wait and see. So that is my new gear and what I've been using. And then I'm going to go ahead and hook up my... Sony and film with that so I can show you my DSLR. So I'll be right back. Okay, so this is my Sony A5000 and I'm using the um, flip screen so that I can make sure I'm in the video. I guess you can guys let me know um, the video quality difference, the sound difference, and what you think with that ring light and how the Sony's picking it up. And I guess I'll go ahead and turn the camera around so I can show you my ring light and my Amazon tripod. Oh, I almost forgot why I was shooting with this. This is my Nikon uh, D3400. It's got the nice zoom, zoom out. Um, you can also zoom from up here. It's got all kinds of different features. It's got a spot for a light or a road mic, but it doesn't have an audio input. If anyone can tell me why that is or how I could make that work, that would be awesome. Um, <clears throat> it's got a spot for your SD card. This is where the battery is located. And as you can see, it's quite a bit bigger and heavier than the Sony, but this is a DSLR with the ability to change out your lenses, and it's just got a bunch of um, upgraded qualities that the Sony doesn't. <clears throat> I don't really have a preference of brand when it comes to cameras. I just really fell in love with this Nikon and the Sony I got for travel and for vlogging. So um, let me go ahead and turn this off and get it off the tripod, turn it around and I'll show you my other stuff. Okay, so I have this attached to my selfie stick now and it is at the second longest. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this third one. There we go, and I'm gonna have to adjust this just a little bit. Hold on here. Perfect, okay. So you can see I am fairly far away. I wanna say about four feet from the actual camera. And so I'm gonna go ahead and show you the ring light. I don't know if you can see this. Let me turn this down a little bit. There we go. Okay. Um, this is the ring light that I was telling you about that I absolutely love. And then this is my, oh no, I'm sorry, the lighting's really bad. This is my Amazon Basics tripod. 
and it's got a couple cool features. It's got two different spots where it can tell you if you're even or not. So um, this one here is showing that it's on even ground, and it's got another one here to make sure your camera is uh, in line. If you're the cool part about that is if you are like on terrain where it's not even, you can actually level this out looking at these two different levels. And um, that way if you're like going downhill or a little uphill, you can coordinate as you need. Hey guys, so I am trying out my new dash mount for my camera. I am using the um, Sony A5000 and it seems to be working really well. I couldn't get it to quite get the right angle from um, the windshield, so I ended up doing the dashboard. I put that sticky down, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna be stuck there forever. Like, it's sticking well, but I don't think it's gonna ruin my dash. Um, let's hope. So, I just left my office, and I'm on my way back home to let the dogs out, um, have a bite to eat, and I'll probably show you guys um, what I am making for lunch. And I know y'all like the what I eat in a day videos, so I will make one of those shortly. Let me know in the comments below if this is shaky or um, if you guys can hear me and see me okay. Um, I'm pretty excited to kind of see how this dashboard um, vlogging goes. So. I'm about to pull up to the house and then we will um, make some lunch and oh, I swear these people in Florida cannot drive. Alright, um, so I'm going to make some lunch here in just a minute and I'll see you guys here in a second. It's lunch time, I'm hungry so I'm going to show you guys what I am going to make for a quick bite to eat. I've got some prepared fresh lettuces. It's like a spring mix and it's already washed and ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and start with some greens. Then I'm going to add just a small handful of chickpeas. I'm going to dice up some fresh garlic. I love fresh garlic. I put it in almost everything. Done. So that's like 
five minutes or less and you have a really healthy, yummy salad for lunch, snack, or any meal that you would like. So I'm gonna sit down and have a little bite real quick and then we will go over my review of my new equipment I got to film my videos.